Hi, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host, Mark, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Takara Tomy Transformers Masterpiece MP17 Prowl, MP18 Streak, or Blue Streak as he's known here in America, or Silver Streak, depending on your preference, uh, and MP19 Smokescreen. My personal favorite of the bunch. Spoiler. Um, and, uh, you know, I was planning on doing a, a separate review for each one of these figures. Um, but at the end of last year, at the end of 2013, when these things were coming out in September, October, and November, um, I believe that's when they came out, um, basically what was happening was I was just getting further and further behind on my toy reviews. Um, I'd started working on a comic book. Um, I'm the lead artist on a comic book that's going to be coming out next year. And so that started taking up more and more of my time. So I had started reviewing Prowl and didn't get quite all the way through it. Then Blue Streak showed up and I was like, well, maybe I'll do a separate review for Blue Streak. But then uh, next month, Smokescreen came around, and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to scrap the work I'd done before, and we'll just look at all three of these vehicles together. Um, and it's not a bad way to do it, because these are known as the Three Brothers or the Triplets. Um, they're all based on the Nissan Fairlady 280Z-T um, car mold. Of course, this one having the most uh, modifications done to it. Um, uh, Smokescreen, of course. But did want to show off the figures. They're all basically the exact same um, size of the box. A nice picture of the figure on the side and then if you turn them all around they show the exact same thing just with their respective car modes you see the vehicle in car mode you see it um, um, put up next to the stand the now standard mp10 shot um, and they show you how each car is actually made to fit into the trailer of the mp10 you see the car the weapon the um, the instructions and the card that comes with it and then a couple of detail shots of the figure and a whole bunch of stuff written in Japanese that I cannot read so see the car mode that's right buddy my little guys in the back background helping me out today i'm pulling dad, uh, double duty daddy duty and uh figure review duty so um here we are we're going to take a look at each one of these guys we're going to get them opened up out of the package and uh, we're going to start off with the car modes all right so here we have all three cars in their alt modes you've got uh, prowl here in his police car mode you've got blue streak silver streak however you want to call him in his uh car mode and of course smokescreen in his very awesome race car um, mode, which is super, super sweet. Um, we're going to look at each one of these figures individually. We won't look at all three of them together throughout the entire review. We'll focus on each one um, as we move along, but just wanted to show you a little bit of um, the car modes and a little bit of just right off the bat how you can see a little bit of differences um, between all three of them, such as right off the bat, you can see, um, of course, that um, Blue Streak here has the, the silver inlay inside the, um, the headlights, whereas Prowl does not, nor does Smokescreen. Of course, Smokescreen's got all the additional paneling and ground effects put onto the car, different um, um, hood here uh, in the front. Of course, you can see the big spoiler. Of course, Prowl's got the, uh, the red light um, assembly here on the top. Some very nice silver um, details all over Blue Streak here um, when it comes to the... Um, the, um, the windshield, um, the, the side windows, and of course the sunroof. Um, he actually has a sunroof where the other two cars are both painted. You don't see any of that silver detail throughout. Um, it looks like um, both um, Prowl and Blue Streak have windshield wipers, whereas um, Smokescreen does not. Um, he does have the back windshield wiper, but the, the front ones are, are, are missing from there. And you see they all have that very prominent um iconic um feature of having the um rear view mirror so far far set all the way forward on top of the hood or bonnet as you uh, as you may may be um and you can just see very nice um nissan de decal on each one and um and while the Autobot symbol may have a white outline here on Prowl. He certainly does not here on Blue Streak, and it has a very nice white outline on of silver on a smoke screen, of course. So very nice looking car modes. Go ahead and spin them around back so you can see them all compared together here in the back. Um, for any major details, I don't see anything standing out to me as being super different on. Um, Silver Streak or Prowl, of course, you've got the spoiler and probably the, the race car sports lighting uh, all the way across uh, on the back of Smokescreen. So, again, very, very nice car car models. Um, the uh, the Nissan Fairlady 280ZT, very nice, very iconic, very 80s car. Um, uh, very iconic 80s car, 
people love him. I had a friend of mine whose dad had one growing up, and I always thought he was like the coolest dad ever. Um, so very, very cool. So why don't we take a look? Uh, I guess we'll start with uh, the as they were released. We'll start with Prowl. So one of the other things I wanted to show you real quickly before we got into um, taking a closer look at each one of these cars individually was how you actually can weaponize each one of them. Um, both Prowl and Blue Streak here have the exact same, um, for the most part, exact same rifle, um, and they just plug right into the top. One thing to note is that because of the um, sirens and the lights on the top of the car, Prowl's a little bit easier to weaponize. You just literally plug in his rifle to the back of the lights. It's already um, protruding out of the top of the car. It's pretty easy. But with Blue Streak and with Smokescreen, you actually have to break apart the back of the car and at the back of the car, right on the hood, at the very top, there is a little... Um, uh, catch to actually latch onto the rifle and it's folded down on the inside. You just break the back of the car and then fold that little nub up and then put the car back together. Um, and then you have a place to um, place the rifle. When you take the rifle apart, you can see just how tall that little nub is. It just kind of pokes up on the top of the car. But when not in use, you just rotate it back down in there and it's out of out of your way. Um, and it, as you can see, Smokescreen does take the prize for the most weaponized version because unlike Prowl and Blue Streak, he actually comes with his two shoulder cannons um, and they actually can attach to the, the hood of the car right down at the base of the windshield. There's a little black line with two slits, one on each side, just for the... Um, for the um, shoulder cannons to fit into. So he definitely wins the case for weaponized vehicles. I'm not a big fan of the weaponized vehicle mode. Um, they'll never be on my shelf in this form. As a matter of fact, they'll probably never even be in car form. Um, these robot forms just look too slick. So, But before we get a chance to reveal the, the robot modes, let's uh, take a closer look at each one of the cars individually and some of the details on each one of the cars. All right, zooming in here for a closer look at Prowl. Um, got him up on the uh, the turntable so we can get a, a good 360 view of the uh, the pretty fantastic Nissan Fairlady 280Z-T. This is a fantastic and very iconic 1980s car. Very nice sports car. It's got the sloped slanted back and the long, very curvy, straight and both uh, curvy um, hood area. Um, it's a very distinctive car model. Very nice, very clean lines, as only Takara Tomy can uh, can deliver. You can see some nice paint apps back there on the uh, on the back um, with the uh, with the lights. Very clean, um, nice, clear plastic area up here with the um, um, with the uh, with the lights on the top as well. Um, it's really cool. You see that very nice, clean Highway Patrol Police Tampo sticker on the side. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can... Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, right here, you'll notice the uh, the wheels and the tires. Now, the tires are very hard plastic. They're not a rubber. Um, some people have bemoaned that fact. But, you know, it, it's, just, it's just a matter of, you know, will they wear out over time? I don't know. You know, it's like... I, I think I would rather have like rubber tires and take my chances, but um, the plastic ones look very well. It rolls very easily, and you can't even really tell that they're not rubber. So let's see if I can um, adjust the focus on this a little bit, see if we can look at the back a little better. You can see some very nice clean paint lines on the, the tail lights on the back of the car. And bring in the front of the car, the hood, in focus a little bit, then... um. You can see, you know, what I'll do is I'll stop it right when he gets into the front so we can take a closer look um, at the hood of the car. You can see some very nice, very clean lines um, in the headlight area. Nice um, lights here on the front. Very clean uh, Nissan logo right there in the front as well as the, um, the Autobot logo. So I'll tilt that up a little bit. So you can see that very clean, very crisp um, Autobot logo right there in the front. So all around, super nice car model. I really, really dig this car. Um, it's going to be, you're going to hear me say that a lot over the course of this review. So uh, why don't we get this guy transformed into his robot form and take a, take a closer look at that masterpiece of a figure as well. 
Okay, taking a look at Prowl here in his um, robot form. Got him up on the turntable, as you can see. And, uh, you know, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of similarities between these three figures. They're all based on the exact same mold, the same car form. So they're all for the most... You know, all intents and purposes, they're they're mostly going to resemble one another. Um, but there are some very subtle differences between the three. Um, I'll try to point those out and try to and, and and show you some of the tricks that I do to sort of make them all a little bit different. Um, when it comes to um, vehicles that have car doors that pop up in the back, um, if they angle up like these do, I like to have them angled. Um, you know, you can ang angle them down and have them a little more flat. But for the most part, I, I kind of like having them angled up. So um, one of the things you could do to make them look a little different is you could angle the doors down or up, um, depending on if you have one, two, or all three of these figures. Also, um, each one of the figures comes with these little cannons up here on the shoulders. And you can flip them up, or you can just flip down the windshield and fold them back down into the backpack um, and then put the windshield back. Um, I actually don't have them up on, on Blue Streak right now, so you'll see that difference um, when he comes out. Um, of, of all the three, um, I think I like Prowl's head sculpt the most, and we'll zoom in in just a minute and take a closer look at that, but um, I think it's the stark white and red um, of his crown uh, and, and his helmet area that I really dig. Makes me think of Ratchet in that way. Um, you can see there's not a lot of um, kibble hanging off the car or the robot form here. Um, things are pretty much tucked away and hidden. You have that nice big grill in front of the car up front. Um, very clean and very iconic. Um, one of the things I love that Takara Tomy does with these masterpiece figures is they go out of their way to not only make the car form look great, but also make the robot form look very much like um, the cartoon version as well. So love the big clunky feet. I love the tires on the on the ankles. I think that's a super cool, very nice touch. Um, I love the, like the torso and the abdomen and the, the crotch and upper thighs look straight out of the cartoon. There's just no denying the coolness of uh, the robot forms on on all of these uh, masterpiece figures. So. Um, so let's zoom in and take a closer look at um, the upper port portion of Prowl. Okay, so zooming in here on Prowl, you can see he's got a very pronounced red, um, um, for lack of a better term, um, uh, armor plate uh, or crown plate on the top of his head, on the top of his helmet. You can um, really see he just has a very calm, very cool demeanor. I kind of think of him as the older um, of the three brothers, um, and he just seems to be a little more calm, a little more collected. He is, uh, and you know, after all, he is a police officer, so he is to keep the law and to be calm and to be cool. Um, one of the things you'll notice that we, we talk about the cannons folding up. Um, so not only do the cannons fold back, Back, but they also extend so don't forget that when you're uh, messing around with your figure you can see here that um, the cannon will actually collapse down sometimes I see in reviews I see the cannon out just like that but don't forget that it does extend out you can pull it out a little bit um, not terribly far but it does make a difference you see some nice silver metal plates in there um, but overall, you know, um, one of the things you'll notice when we see um, smokescreen is that smokescreen's tires are actually on top and they rotate this way. They're on top of his shoulders, whereas Prowl's and Silver Streaks are actually, or Blue Streaks are actually back like this. They're back behind. They have a, they have a much larger shoulder pad and the tire is behind them, whereas on smokescreen you'll see that's a little different. So one of the things that I like to do to sort of make Prowl different, is since he is the police officer, I like to pretend that these are sort of lights um, and that um, these may be replacing his actual um, sirens. So these may be like his searchlights or whatever whenever he's in robot mode. So I kind of like these cannons up over the shoulders. And these are the um, these are not the exclusive versions that come with the shoulder cannons. Those were $10 more and not available when when I pre-ordered these guys. So um, he looks really, really nice. I love that cool blue of the eyes in there. You can totally see it's such a cool head sculpt. And you'll notice how um, both Silver Streak or Blue Streak and Smokescreen are, um, they do have different head sculpts. So let's take a look at Blue Streak right now. Okay, so here we go. We've got Blue Streak or Silver Streak, however your taste may fall, um, up on the turntable. And uh, as you see here, um, it, you may get a, a better close, uh, like a, a better look at the vehicle mode um, that the Nissan Fairlady mode 
um, over Prowl because you don't have the uh, the paint jobs sort of getting in the way and the paint apps sort of distracting from the lines. You can see the the um, the lines and the and the panel lines here on the side. Um, you know the door. It just kind of uh, it breaks at the, at the appropriate places. You do have a little bit of paneling here on the front, but not a whole lot. You can see a split down the back um, on the back windshield. But for the most part, this is a pretty clean looking car mode. Um, it's, it's just simply fantastic. Now, one of the things you may not make out from this angle, but you may have picked up on um, when we looked at all three cars at the very beginning, um, is that this car mode actually does have the silver paint job all around but on the front of the car and I'll bring that into focus here a little bit the uh, the front of the car actually has the um, the black hood um, on the front um, and you know that's very reminiscent of let me see if I can get this right see if I if I can remember from being a kid the original car the original G1 toy I believe had the silver hood I believe that the car was all silver um, with no black hood, but I believe the, if I'm not mistaken, the G1 cartoon actually had Blue Streak um, with a black hood. So this car, again, like most of Takara Tomy's masterpiece efforts, um, is choosing to bring in both the car mode, the toy mode, and the, um, the toy mode and the cartoon look into unison and bring them into one um, with the black hood that you can see there in the front. Um, and I believe also, wasn't it when he made the jump, jump from cartoon to toy that that's where the blue streak to the silver streak came in? I think, wasn't the toy called silver streak? I'm not mistaken. I, I could be mistaken on that. If I am, you guys please correct me in the comments below. But um, just like we did with Prowl earlier, I really want to get the car sort of stopped right here in the front so we can take a good look. Um, at the front of this car mode because it is pretty impressive. Um, and let me make sure I can get this in focus for you. Um, but that is a very nice, you can see again, the bright colored um, um, front um, lights down at the bottom. Some very nice clean line work with the headlights on the front. And uh, again, the Nissan logo and the very, it's kind of hard to see because it is red on black, but the nice Autobot logo right there on the hood and there you can see the difference between the black and the silver paint on the hood so all in all an extremely nice car mode um, I just can't say enough about these guys they just look absolutely fantastic so uh, why don't we get this guy transformed into his robot form and see just how um, subtly uh, different he is from uh, his counterpart in Prowl okay zooming in here on um, on Blue Streak or Silver Streak, however you may follow on that argument, um, you'll see that one of the things I've done to sort of differentiate him from Prowl is instead of having the doors angled up, I just have them angled down. I don't particularly like them down, but I like to give my robots a little bit of um, a little bit of um, personality. Um, I've also switched his rifle over to the um, left hand to give him a little personality, so he's kind of like the Zelda of uh, uh, the Zelda, the 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 Link of these three. He'll be the left-handed guy. Nice big um, car portion in the front. I still love that. Um, when we look at the head, you'll notice that it is subtly different. The head sculpt is subtly different than Prowl, um, which I really like. I think that's really cool, and I just love the the contrast of the silver and the red. It's just a very 80s. Um, Transformers thing. Uh, several, se several of the, my favorite Transformers did have this sort of silver and red look going on. So it's a very nice, um, very nice 80s color combo. Um, and I really dig that. One of the things you'll notice is that um, the crotch portion of, um, when he comes back around to the front, you'll notice that the crotch portion of Silver Streak is different than that of Prowl. Prowl had a little diamond shape um, right in the crotch piece, crotch piece and it was also more straight and T-shaped. This one has some more angles um, sculpted into it. So I really appreciate the time and effort that um, Takara Tomy put into um, crafting these vehicles to where they look um, differently, uh, a little different um, in the robot mode than each one. And, and I think that just is a testament to their attention to detail. So um, why don't we zoom in real quick, real quick on the uh, upper portion of um, Blue Streak here and take a closer look at the detail in the, uh, the chest and in the head sculpt. All right, zooming in here on Blue Streak. I keep wanting to call him Silver Streak, but zooming in on Blue Streak. One of the things you'll notice is right off the bat, he has a much shorter um, crown 
uh, on the top of his helmet than Prowl did. Sliding over for a second, you can see Prowl's is much higher and much more pointed than than Blue Streak's here. You can see it's very um, short, it's broader, and it's fatter across the um, the front. Um, and I really like that they added that differentiation. Um, you can see he's got a much younger looking face than Prowl, and it lo looks a lot more pleasant, a lot happier. Kind of think of him as the uh, sort of like the middle child, the speedy, zippy one. Um, he's got a little little experience, but um, he's not as intrepid as I would say Smokescreen would be. So um, really dig that very cool much wider head looks like um and like we were talking about um when we showed you prowl zoomed in you can see the larger shoulder pads with the tires actually on the behind side behind the shoulder pad so super super nice touches on these guys really really love them can't say enough about them so uh, why don't we uh, take a closer look at um my personal favorite uh smoke screen all right now zooming in on the car mode of my favorite of the three um, Nissan Fairlady models um, is definitely going to be Smokescreen. Um, he wasn't one of my favorites when I was a kid, but out of these three, he's definitely my favorite. Of course, you've got the sportier look to the car. You've got the bright red and white paint job, right? red, white, and blue paint job, the nice big um, DevCon oil um, tampo stickers on the side, got that big number 38 right there, and of course, that really nice spoiler going across the back right there. The nice sport lighting across the back as well. And then you can see that super cool um, lower ground effect um, hood scoop right there. Um, not hood scoop, it's not a hood scoop, but um, the, the front fender just looks completely and totally amazing. Um, this guy, to me, is the standout of these three figures. He just looks great. The paneling, the the paintwork, the paint apps, everything is nice and clean. And let me see if I can pull focus on the front of the car here. You can get a little look there. It's just a fantastic front model. Go ahead and get the back to come around as well. What I want to do, just like I did with the others, I'm going to stop the car right in the front so we can get a nice, clean look at this guy. Um, these cars are just absolutely fantastic. They're some of the best um, masterpiece figures that um, Takara Tomy has produced. And I really hope that they make their way stateside so that all of my Transformer collectors here in the United States can get their hands on these fantastic cars. Um, one of the things I think that stands out the most about the front of this car versus the others is you can see the nice black um, framing on the headlight and then the silver headlights inside um, in that deep red inset looks super cool and I really love that bright um, red white outlined um, Autobot logo on the red hood it just looks super nice right above that Nissan logo so what a fantastic car mode this guy is just absolutely fantastic so l let me gush about him in robot mode let's get this guy transformed and take a closer look so moving on to my favorite of the three, both in car form and in robot form, is Smokescreen. I think it's probably because of the fact that um, he's just the, the sportier of the three. He seems to be like the, um, you know, in my mind, he's sort of the more reckless, um, the more... Um, um, the dare, more of the being the daredevil and the reckless. I almost kind of think of him as being maybe the youngest one of the three. I don't know. This is kind of how I uh, figure it in my mind. Um, but um, again, you can see some of the differences here. One, um, I like to keep him more squatty, more low to the ground, makes it feel like he's always ready to take off and ready to go. Um, that kind of fits into the um, the persona I have of smokescreen in my mind. Um, one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is he does have the much larger um, uh, optional um, shoulder cannons. These are the actual laser um, things, uh, the laser cannons, that he doesn't actually have like the tubular, the more cannon shaped shoulder pads. He actually has like a little blue flat flap that folds over that these kind of slide onto and lock into place. Um, one of the other things that you'll notice is that with, um, and I'll point this out again when all three are together, um, is that um, Takara Tomy decided to make his tires be on top of the shoulders as opposed to um, actually having them behind the shoulders like he is on Prowl and um, Blue Streak. Again, another um, small, subtle way of making each one of these a little different. Um, he actually does have the exact same crotch piece um, that Prowl does. It's just unpainted. So whereas Prowl was black and had white and red accents, um, 
Of course, smoke screens is just all black. I love the, the silver, the brighter silver reflective color in the thigh. It's not making it just this dull gray that you see on the inside of the feet. Um, super nice. And that the color just really pops throughout. Um, this is absolutely my favorite of the three, and I think it's really just, it comes down to the paint apps um, and the bulkier um, pieces, the, the, the spoiler on the back and the, and the hood frame. I just really, really, really dig this figure. So like with the other, the other two, let's zoom in and take a closer look at Smokescreen's head sculpt. All right, zooming in on Smokescreen here, you'll see right off the bat that he has um, the largest head of the three. He's got a much wider, um, his helmet actually comes down around his cheeks and underneath his chin, whereas both on Prowl and Smokescreen, I mean Silver Streak, Blue Streak, geez, um, their helmet sort of stops at the cheek and doesn't go underneath their chin. Um, and you can see he's got a very nice, large yellow um, armor plate on the top of his helmet. Big, broad, bright yellow. Love it. See that very nice face, very happy looks. Almost looks like he's smiling a little bit. It's like you know he loves getting down and dirty, um, causing trouble, smoking up the place. Um, you can see here how instead of the shoulder cannons, he actually has his um, shoulder laser. So what we'll do is I'll pull one of these off so you can see how this looks different than the uh, shoulder cannons. Um, so basically you have a flat piece here that kind of folds down and goes back under. Um, you have a hook on the back of the cannon which basically hooks like this just on the back of the hood and what you do is you just slide the, the little flap inside um, the cannon and then just tuck that hook underneath and then just push the whole thing forward and that sort of locks it into place but to show you what smoke screen looks like without them what we'll do is we we'll just lift these up fold them up out of the way and show you smoke screen now you can tuck those blue pieces back under the um, hood I'll do that real quick you can lift these up unsnap this just fold those back under get them out of the way completely and then lock this back into place <clears throat> and now you can actually display him without the shoulder cannons and he still looks pretty awesome you get that bright yellow that bright bright blue on top of that red i love that the only place that there's yellow on the sky is on his head and you don't see it until it's revealed it's just super super nice and again nice autobot logo right there in the front can't say enough about that um this guy is just, it, it just continues to amaze me how perfect he is in just about every way. So um, why don't we um, zoom out and take a look at all three of these guys together, point out a few of the little differences, and uh, wrap, up, wrap up this review. All right, so here we have the three brothers all standing together um, in robot form, and you can see some of the subtle differences. Like I was pointing out, the crotch pieces are different here. Um, uh, Smoke screen and prowl both share the same crotch piece. Um, his is just painted where his is not. His is a little different, and I really dig that. We've looked at the differences in the heads, which you can kind of see there. Um, and you know, you know, just with the added accessories, the option of flipping up the cannons or not, flipping up one or either one or both or not, or tilting up the doors or having them down straight, you've got a lot of options to display these guys and to make them all sort of stand out and be a little different, just with simple poses. So um, I just can't say enough. Um, Takara Tomi has really hit it out of the park um, and ended 2013 by giving us MP17, 18, and 19. And we do know that the next two um, uh, Masterpiece figures on the way here in 2014 are going to be Wheeljack and Bumblebee. I'm really excited to see how um, Bumblebee is actually going to fit into this whole whole scheme of this new Takara Tomy um, size chart that they have created with um, MP10 being the new standard for large size figures, um, handing that on down from, you know, um, Starscream on down to Soundwave. Everything is now in line with MP10 Optimus Prime, and all the cars have been the same size, but we all know that Bumblebee was quite smaller than the rest of these guys, so I'm really excited to sort of see how they're going to make um, the robot come in and be smaller smaller than these guys but the car mode be comparable to these cars um, without being super tiny and look like a little funny car so I'm excited how that's gonna look I'm, I can't wait to see what wheeljack's gonna look like but you know 
I, I've got enough cars, you know, with um, Sideswipe and Red Alert, um, and now these three guys. We got five cars, and it's 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 high time that uh, Takari tell me start giving us some of the more um, beefier vehicles. I really want um, uh, a masterpiece Ironhide and Ratchet. Uh, I really want a masterpiece. Um, uh, <sighs> Hound, oh, he would be—he'd be fantastic. So um, while these things are looking awesome, Takara, tell me, please, please give us some more beefier vehicles, and uh, let's get onto some Decepticons too. We need some bad guys too, so get those in there if you can. So uh, as always, we're gonna um, ask if you guys dug the video, please, please like, comment, or subscribe, and check out all of the new toy reviews that we have here coming every month from UngrownUps.com, and you can check out all the videos right here on YouTube.com/UngrownUps. So until next time, peace.